You know, for many Canadians, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is a childhood condition. Now, the reality, however, is that adults can also suffer from ADHD. That's why it's so very important to have a proper diagnosis of the condition, especially if it continues into adulthood. Mark Davids, the Manager of Accessibility Services with Lethbridge Polytechnic, discusses what the consequences can be for not having an accurate diagnosis of ADHD. I, I know quite a few people that made it into adulthood uh, and uh, were never diagnosed. In fact, they were diagnosed with other conditions. Uh, if I, uh, my, I cite an example of a friend of mine, um, he for a while thought he had uh, different things. He thought uh, they were looking at uh, bipolar disorder. Um, they were looking at an extreme uh, generalized anxiety. Uh, they thought POTS for a little bit. Like it, they, they weren't able to diagnose it. And because he had gone so long and developed so many coping mechanisms to help facilitate his day-to-day -day life, it was just extremely difficult to find in his particular case. But ultimately, once they determined it was ADHD and they found the appropriate treatment for him, uh, he's remarked many times how much his quality of life has improved. Different stressors in his life were, were affecting the symptoms that he was experiencing. And it was also just awareness and education, because not a lot of people know what are the signs of ADHD. And if you don't know what to look for, it can make it difficult to understand what's happening. And there are people that make it all the way to adulthood, they develop their own coping mechanisms, that live their entire lives, and don't know that they have ADHD. Very similar was also experiencing depression, and, and I mentioned anxiety, you know, really beginning to have daily struggles because they, they run their own business, and it was really starting to impact before they were able to cope. But, you know, as we get older, too, we're less uh, able to handle some stressors as we were when we were younger, and so it was really starting to affect them, um, and that kind of led to those other symptoms uh, that from the untreated, untreated ADHD. According to the Centre for ADHD Awareness Canada, this condition affects between 4 to 6 percent of adults and between 5 to 7 percent of children. That means around 1.8 million Canadians are affected with ADHD.